The opportunities for engineering to make a huge impact on the world, this is probably a best, best time in a generation for that to happen. So I was uh, uh, born in uh, the state of what's today called Uttar Pradesh, UP, in, in India. My, my parents were immigrants to that area, so the language spoken at home was not the language spoken around. So I kind of, I'm used to being an immigrant. What was fortunate for me was both my parents were educated. Um, uh, my mother was really, really brilliant. She skipped grades uh, three times, so she graduated high school when she was 15. <laughs> <laughs> she was critical, I think, in kind of making sure we paid attention to school. I used to enjoy listening to every other student's projects when they used to talk about different projects, right? You normally say you just do yours, right? I have this natural interest in just any part of engineering or science or university for that matter. I'll sit and kind of spend time to understand what people are doing. And over time at Purdue, I've seen that. I have published with colleagues from five different colleges here. I went to the Indian Institute of Technology in Delhi, so I didn't go too far away from where my parents were. Got into Purdue for a master's. I had a few other offers, but, you know, I'm going to just stick with this. And I remember getting here in July uh, as a master's student, and the first paycheck was not until uh, September. So the first thing you do is get into debt uh, when you have no resources, no job, no authorization to work. It's, it's sort of daunting. My first semester was Goodwill uh, and uh, more. <laughs> I hate to admit, but that's the truth, right? I can't believe the fortune I've had in this country, and I'm very grateful. Uh, but my point is, uh, look at this country, right? It's, it's, a, it's an amazing country. And, uh, and uh, I think uh, the Purdue education, you know, started it for me. I mean, it's a pretty special thing. So maybe, maybe it's a chance to give back, right, to Purdue here and uh, so on, but... I, I'm an accidental, totally, totally accidental administrator. What's really exciting about this is, uh, given where Purdue Engineering is at today, you know, the success we've had um, over the last, uh, you know, few decades even, um, what I see is, an amazing uh, set of talents, you know, with our students. It's never been better or larger, great faculty and staff. And, you know, the opportunities for engineering to make a huge impact on the world, probably it's, this is probably a best, best time in a generation for that to happen. Consequentiality is a word that speaks to uh, the extent to which we would have a positive impact on society. I won't lie to you. And it really resonates with engineering if you think about it because engineering at its heart is about uh, creating solutions for people in society. That's, that is, there's the element of creativity, of genius, the Da Vinci's amongst us, right? Finding solutions or adding value and it's about for people in society. So what does that mean? It simply means maximizing the positive impact we can have on society. Let's break it down into three parts. We produce between just over 5% of the nation's engineers. The extent to which we can really add value to that education, how we educate, right, then has a resounding effect, you know, throughout the nation. We should unquestionably be regarded as the number one for experiential learning because on the technical side, we already are. You know, the development of professional skills, you know, communications, ability to lead, customer discovery, working with interdisciplinary teams, people that are different. Yeah leadership skills, all these things come together to make a rigorously trained, uh, technically smart engineer from a great engineer at a time uh, when, the nature, when the nation needs more, not less engineers. The who we educate is essential uh, to this equation. Uh, the reason is when you try to maximize impact through education, when you're um, educating a woman engineer or a first generation college student, the impact is not just to the student, the whole family is uplifted. In many cases, communities get transformed from that one person. So it has a exponential impact. And so if you speak of maximizing impact, it has to necessarily be rethinking of both uh, how we educate uh, and who we educate with the intent, obviously, to broaden participation in the broadest sense uh, in engineering. On the research side, as I said, the challenges facing us are just tremendous, right? And the opportunities are tremendous. I would love for, uh, in research for us to, if we are really consequential in the discovery side, discovery of knowledge is intrinsic to us. We would 
lead the nation in research centers that are dealing with some of the most challenging problems of our time. Maximizing impact is going to help us get to that point. I think maximizing impact and economic development is another piece, advancing Indiana, advancing nation. Another angle to kind of keep an eye out for is uh, entrepreneurship. You know, our students, our faculty-led entrepreneurship is great. We could help make Indiana the heart, you know, startup heartland of America, and that would be consequential. Mm -hmm.